Good morning. Here's the NBC News from around the world. This is James Stevenson reporting from the NBC Newsroom in New York. And later we'll hear from NBC observers overseas. According to latest bulletins from Europe, the Allies have stopped the German drive against the American First Army, at least temporarily. At the same time, American troops are driving against the southern flank of the German push and have smashed four dents into the Nazi wall. Allied Supreme Headquarters also reveals that thousands of American and British bombers are attacking the German supply columns and lines of communication. German Field Marshal von Rundstedt was able to start his counterattack against the American First Army because weather conditions had made it impossible for Allied air operations. And the bad weather continued to favor the Germans for the first week, keeping American and British planes on the ground. But as the skies cleared in the past couple of days and Allied airplanes were able to strike again, von Rundstedt's momentum was whittled down until he has practically stopped. Of course, it is too early to evaluate the exact situation on the Western Front. That is, whether our planes have given General Eisenhower the leverage he needed and if the Germans have been stopped completely. The news blackout by Allied Supreme Headquarters is such that information is about 24 hours late. But from the news we have, it does not appear that this is the end of von Rundstedt's drive. As a matter of fact, although the Germans have lost most of their momentum, they still maintain the initiative. And that means they are still much on the offensive while the Allies are confronted with all of the vast problems which plague the defender who is being pushed back. The final answer to this present phase of the war on the Western Front will probably rest on Germany's ability to maintain a flow of supplies and reserves into von Rundstedt's massive drive. Many people have wondered where the Nazis got the men and equipment to enable them to make such an all-out offensive. It was thought that Germany had reached the bottom of her manpower barrel and that her supplies and reserves were very limited. But now, that seems to have been the result of Nazi propaganda, something that the Nazis themselves let everyone to believe in order to create an overconfidence among the Allied leaders and people. President Roosevelt, in a Christmas message to the American people, revealed that Germany still has plenty of reserves, supplies, and military power left, and that we are still confronted with a hard fight. The president hinted that this war may not be over even by the end of next year, although he expressed the, co- the hope that we might find ourselves at peace by next Christmas. American headquarters in Paris announced today that Major Glenn Miller, director of the American Army Air Forces Band and a former popular orchestra leader in the United States, is missing on a flight from England to Paris. Miller left England on December 15th as a passenger aboard a plane. No trace of the plane has been found since. His Air Force band had been playing in Paris, but no member of the band was with him on the flight. Berlin claims that Manchester, England, had been attacked by Nazi long-range weapons coincided today with an official British disclosure that the Germans have extended their V-bomb offensive to northern England. These announcements evidently confirm reports that the Nazis have been working at top speed to complete V-2 rocket launching sites in Norway. It is not clear from today's reports whether the Germans are using V-1 flying bombs, rockets, or both in these latest attacks. And that's the morning's news from around the world.